What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Minecraft. <laughs> it's going to be fun. In this episode, we are starting off... Well, first I'll go ahead and show you my uh, the settings that I have here. Difficulty hard. FOV, I'm playing on, like... Actually, I usually play on, like, 90. So we'll put that right there. And then here's my other settings, just if you're curious. I'll have the brightness nice and up so you guys can see what's going on. So I'd show those for you guys. We're going to be starting a new world in this oh, series, this LP, I guess. You, I guess this really will be like the LP. Uh, all my other Minecraft series, I didn't call them LPs. They weren't. It wasn't a let's play Minecraft, even though really that's what we were doing, was just playing it. Uh, I called it Angry Poncho's World of Minecraft because the world kept changing. Now the game's been released, the game is sort of quote-unquote finished. Uh... It's still developing a little bit. It's got some updates occasionally, but they're much smaller now, and they're not really going to be... I don't think it's going to be anything amazing besides just bug fixes and stuff. Their Mojang is sort of moving on. You can kind of tell what their attitudes are, that Minecraft is the is on the way out. But uh, So now is the time to strike while the iron is hot! Uh, we're going to do a hardcore world. This is going to be interesting need a name for this world, so I'm going to call it... Let's see, let's see, let's see... Huh, hmm, hmm... Well, I want something really interesting, but we can always change it later. Uh... Uh, it's not something I should be spending a lot of time on, but, uh... Uh, we'll just call it... How about Haven 2.0? The second Haven. So, hardcore. And here in the world options, I'm actually going to tell you the first mod that I have installed is the dynamic height mod. We're going to be playing on a double height world. I'm going to use a random seed. I'm going to leave the generate structures on, so we get dungeons and all sorts of things like that, villages. Uh, but yeah, double height. Actually, of the mods I have installed right now, there there are four, and it's really dumb, actually, uh, the, the fourth one. Uh, I've installed a uh, timber mod, which makes, uh, when you use an axe, you collect an entire trees at once. I've installed a minimap mod, the REI minimap, and I've installed dynamic height. I also very stupidly installed death chest, which, for the sake of a hardcore world, is going to be just totally useless. I didn't realize that until like five minutes ago. I was like, hmm, if I die, I can go get the stuff from my chest. And it's like, oh yeah. Alrighty then. So, uh, hmm. This is interesting. I've got a nice flat area here, so you can't really tell it's double height. You can see the mini-map up there, though. That's nice. Oh, I do have too many items installed as well, but we're not going to be using it, so... Uh, I'll just leave that alone. Alright, uh, my health looks a little funny down here. It's got little black dots on it. Is that new? Uh, I've never seen that before. Is that because it's hardcore? I wonder. I don't know. I need to get started, though, so, uh... Alright, let's punch some trees. No time to waste. So, what, what are my goals for this LP? Oh, goodness. Let's play Minecraft. Well, the goal is to beat the game. I want to get to the end and defeat the final boss. And my goal is to do all of this without dying. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I will be regularly backing up the world. And so, if I do die, we'll just say, well, that was the end of the... Uh, oh, well, I did not get reach this far. Must be the FOV just being crazy. I'm going to punch these sheep to death. So I want their wool, and I'm not going to have the supplies to make shears for a long time. Come here, you. And I want a bed before before yeah, night falls, so... Actually, it's handy that these guys appeared so close to me. Come here, you. Oop, seeds, that's nice. I probably should start collecting those, too. Getting a farm going would be really handy. And then... Oh, yeah, I've got some big plans for this LP. But like I say, the goal is going to be beat the game. Oops, I just took some damage. That was dumb. I can't be going. I can't be crazy with my health because if I fall off a cliff and die, that's uh, that's sort of like the end of one part of the LP. Because for this series, I wanted to show both the sort of hardcore aspect: you die, you're done. And I also wanted to get to the end. So if we fail to get to the end and finish things within the hardcore mindset, I'll just show it otherwise. But you know. That's not as much fun, and I think that I do think that I'll be able to accomplish my goal. All right, so wood, workbench. I'm gonna go ahead and make an axe, just because you have to have an axe for the timber mod to work. And basically, like I said before we started here, all it does is it makes. I'm actually, gonna make a bunch of different tools here. Uh, 
let's see, I want, oh, this is neat, I like to do this where you uh, take, uh, you can do like a, a pickaxe and a, a shovel like that, and then also the axe. You can actually do axe and shovel as well. So let's get everything set up here. I might, I'm not going to even bother to make a wooden sword. So yeah, just collect this up again. Come here, you. Our work is one of the things you're supposed to get with an axe. I don't know. But here with an axe, you can see the whole tree collapses, and it's a very nice timber sort of way. And I guess you can't really tell that the uh, the minimap obviously is helpful. This is just sort of like the default settings that it's set to. I'm probably not going to mess with it too much, because I like it the way it is. But uh, you can see this timber mod really gives you a quick start, and that's really what I wanted. Oh, pig. I should take your bacon. Sorry, piggy. Oh, jeez. He jumped off the cliff and killed himself. Is that why he didn't drop any bacon? I wonder if that's related. Now, I've heard that in 1.0, pigs and cows and stuff don't respawn. Is that true? They only spawn in new chunks, and they're, like, more permanent? I know that was one of the goals for Minecraft, but I thought the problem was, peep with, was pigs despawning. Like, oh, you collected some pigs together. But it doesn't matter, because they're just going to disappear at some point. Here, I'll just beat him to death with a shovel. <laughs> Take his bacon! So, please tell me in the comments, uh, is it true that they don't ever respawn? Because if that's the case, I'm going to need to get some wheat and start, like, breeding animals and stuff. Which I suppose is what you're supposed to do. Get over here, you little... you pink little... There. Oh, I busted my shovel on him. Nicely done. Whatever. No, it looks like I already got one level of, uh, experience. Cool. Alright, I need to find... Shelter. It's about halfway through the day already. I got plenty of wood, though, so we're square there. And honestly, it's, it's easy to collect more. And the taller the tree, the better, because this timber mod, it gives you the whole tree, so no worries there. Alrighty, I'll probably be punching this uh, grass as I go around, too. The more seeds I find, the easier it'll be to make a farm once I get to that. Now, you may notice that the frame rate is not as good as it is sometimes for my LPs, and I do apologize for that, but that's because it's a double height map. And I actually had to dynamically, here I'll show you, I had to allocate more memory for Minecraft. I gave it two full gigs of space. And you can see what, what my performance looks like down there. It's not the best, and there's occasional lag spikes, but when we get to the uh, double high areas, I think it's going to become worth it. Come on, give me some, give me some bacon. Or some, some pig bacon. No, some chicken bacon. Come here, you. Chickens are the best animals. They give you food, they give you feathers, they give you experience. Pigs are just for food. And See, the cows even give you leather and food now, so they didn't usually give you food, so... Very nice. And that makes the pigs by far the least least useful animals. Did I get a, an egg from any of them? Of course, you don't get eggs from killing the chickens, do you? You get eggs from following the chickens around and stuff, but you don't, you don't use the eggs to make baby chickens. You use the eggs to make... It's weird, isn't it? Or, or do the baby chickens come from the eggs now, or do you actually have to breed the chickens like you breed the other animals? I have no idea. Okay, I'm kind of just wandering randomly. I, have, I do not have a goal. I, I might even be sort of transient for a while. I see some exposed rock over there. I'm thinking coal. Need to get some torches. There's some coal right over there. Alright, perfect. I only need one block of coal for my first night, so I'm not really picky about how much we get right away. You know. Alright, yeah. So, Minecraft. Wow, this is sort of going to be like Poncho's final adventure in Minecraft, and that's why I decided to make it a hardcore adventure. So if we die, we're done. At least that's the mentality that we have to have in order to do this right. Am I going to be able to get up to this stuff? I'm just going to... Oh, jeez. Hmm. Let's, let's do... Uh... Arr, I'm trying to get up there without using up all my blocks I've already picked up. should pick up some dirt. Of course, I used up my shovel killing a pig. That was a good use of resources. Derp. Da, 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 da. Where's the coal? It's right up there, isn't it? With FOV, F F O V like this, I can't always tell how, quite how far I can reach. Like I feel like that's too far away, but obviously it's not. So let's uh, try not to take any damage from the fall there. Ah, there's my coal. That's what I need. All right, now it's just a matter of choosing uh, choosing our own adventure. I can see on the map where things go. Maybe I should make a boat and sail around for a while. Got some more freaking... Where are you guys? I might actually want to punch you guys to death, too. Sorry, pigs. Or sheep. 
not only are they really annoying, but I want to make two beds because I want to carry one with me to use at my leisure, and I want to leave one where I sleep. Oh, I broke the pick already. I want to carry one with me to use at my leisure, and I want to. Oh, these are so loud. And I'm gonna kill you just for spite of it, because you pissed me off. Thank you. Ah, and the music starts. Ah, oh, it's like old school Minecraft, man. This music's been in since Alpha, and so for me it's like... This just reminds me of back in the day. Before biomes and all this other crazy stuff, when entire worlds would snow. Yeah, you better run. You sheep. <laughs> the sheep of the land fear me. And my iron fist. What is this? This is a lake. Like I say, I'm just wandering randomly, so maybe I'll take Kurt, Kurt J. Mack's uh, method and just walk west for a while until I find something interesting. It seems to work well for him. Punching the grass as we go. You know, follow the yellow brick road. I'm trying to remember if there's anything really dumb that I'm doing here. I'm just Because I haven't started a new world in ages, and so I'm starting to think, like, should I be digging a hole already, or should I be sheltering, or... Did I not get enough coal? What's what's gonna? What, when is this gonna hit? The, oh, food! I need to make food. That's what I'm forgetting. Oh, balls! Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Oh God. Uh, oh, on hard difficulty, I think the hunger actually makes you lose health too. Balls. Okay. Uh, crap. 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 All right, hidey hole time. Right here. Oh goodness, I need. Here, I'll make the workbench part of the wall. I don't care. I need tools. I need a pick to dig this out. Firstly. And then I'm going to make a furnace. So I can cook my food. It's amazing how fast the food is running out already. Hmm. Did they change that? I don't know. I have no idea what that pink bar underneath my health is either. Is that just to remind you that you're playing a hardcore series? I don't know. Series? Of course not, but whatever. I'm just, uh, I never, I've never noticed those that line there before, and I'm not sure what it means. Boom. It's like I'm a noob all over again. It's great. Of course, that's what makes Minecraft fun. Trying to figure stuff out on your own. You've never done before. Oh! That's another thing I want to do in this series is... Uh, oh, can't use the coal. Use the planks. Boom. Alright. Uh, okay, looking good. Torches. That's what the coal's for. Boom. Got some more saplings I picked up. Apparently. Boom. And in here, too. Alright, neat. I think that this will be fine. I just need to make the bed and put it down. Now, a bed's one of those things that you're supposed to have three blocks above your head before you before you use. I know that you can have bugs. There are... There's still lots of bugs in the game, honestly. Little weird ones that just pop up occasionally. I'm gonna eat my chicken. That disgusting eating sound. I don't know why it's they made it so ridiculous. Well, I think tomorrow I'm going to build a boat and sail off past this swamp. We'll see how that goes. Those friggin' lily pads apparently like sunk the Titanic. Uh, Alright, wool. Oh, I don't have any planks. Crap. Get out of there. Just turn it all into planks. I don't care. This music sounds different. Is this new? Relatively new. There we go. How about a door? I could even make a door for this first one just so. Because this will be my spawn point if I ever die and I don't make another hidey hole somewhere. Alright, good. I didn't even... I actually totally forgot to mark my spawn point when I first appeared. Oh, that's right. Dang. That's something I forgot to do. Oops. Got so caught up in it. I'll go ahead and go to sleep. <sighs> no, no, I'm just kidding. That's totally Kurt's thing. I can't snore. That's not me, man. Alright, awesome. Success! Might even leave the workbench here. So I can easily make another one whenever I need one, so... Boat! Let's go! Do 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 dun dun like the the great sea theme from Zelda. Pretty much some of the best boating music ever. Can I punch the lily pads from in the boat? Oop. Oh, don't hit the boat now. I think I'm hitting the boat. I don't want that. I guess you can't punch the lily pads then. Just a sail around them. Oh, derp. Okay, yeah, they're I forget they're bigger than they look because they're actually square. There's circular things sitting on squares, and the whole square is the hitbox, so I need to sail out of this swamp as soon as I can. There's a mountain over there. You know, in this double height map, the oceans are actually twice as deep, as well as the mountains being twice as tall. So, 
you can see out there it's it's not too deep already, but it it will be. It gets pretty crazy. This whole area is sort of flat, so I don't expect anything too wild. And I guess I'll just go west. We'll just sail west for a while and see what happens. <gasps> it's a doggy. I have no bones, so I don't even have the option of taming him. Although even if I did, I, I don't, actually it might be nice to have him. He could be really helpful if he he could save my life theoretically in a pinch. I'm gonna swing over here and pick up these reeds. Get some more reeds. Slow down. Slow. Alright. Thank you. Take these with me. In case I ever decide to make a reed farm, which I'm sure I will eventually. Reed farms are quite profitable. They're just fun. Maybe I can get to the point where I can bake cakes. That's how you know when you've made it. So if you're watching this for the first time, if this is the first video of mine you've seen, probably have some questions like, why did you call me a pilot, and what is this texture pack? The second answer is, this is the poncho pack, and there's a download link in the description. Please enjoy, it's a pack I made myself. I think we have some double height spawning over here, so I'm going to go over here and see it, I think. Let's have a look-see, shall we? Yeah, there it is. This is how the, this is when the frame rate is going to get a little bit low, so even, with the, even when there's not mountains, the game still has to spawn chunks at the same height. Which, like I say, I, I sort of doubled, I actually did double the amount of RAM that I gave to Minecraft as well, which only partially answers the, the question of how are you going to fix that lag problem. So I'm actually really p pleased with 50 frames per second right now. We're getting somewhere... It's it's dropping with, with the lag... Oh, Jesus. You're to, you guys are going to have to die, aren't you? Yeah, I think I am going to kill him. It might be nice to have armor. So let's make another workbench. Plus, they're just really annoying, so... I don't deserve to live! Stick... Actually, make a cobblestone sword. Why not? Probably make a stone pick before too long here. Wah! I don't know why jumping. Oh, the three you have. Very nice, sir. Three steak. Good, good, good. I'll take your experience too, please. Thank you. I guess that's where the boating ends. It looks like it's land in this part. On the map, at least, you can see that it looks like there's a plain, a rolling plain biome. So, let's take the workbench with us. With our fist. Thanks, boat. Actually, I'm going to take you for raw materials, since I'm not going to ever use you again. Kaboom. Alright. So, yeah, look at that. Got some double height mountains spawning over there, but I suppose there's no... There's no rush. I'm just going to continue walking. Well, hell, I guess I could walk any direction I want. Let's look at the mountains. I guess the goal at this point probably should be to just get settled somewhere, find a good place to live. Hopefully somewhere with lots of wildlife so I can start curtaining them in and collecting. I should be picking up wood as I go along. If I see a really tall tree like this, I'm tempted to get it. Make a better axe. Whoops. Get get that out of there. Eh, thank you. Kaboom. Maybe I should cook some more. Oh, I have some more cooked chickens. I'm fine in that regard. What else do I need? Go ahead and make the uh, pick while I'm here. Alrighty then. I have to get my inventory straightened out at night. I'm not going to do it right now. Is there any day I want to explore? Alright. Let's go see if we can climb one of these mountains. Maybe we'll get a nice view. Yeah, look at it. Wow. That's quite a ways up there. Now, I'm not, still not quite used to this FOV, but I guess I'll have to. I see some swamps off to the northwest here. I want to collect some lily pads at some point because... I heard that they can be fun for making... Is this a cave? Oh my god, is there an air pocket down here? Yes, there is. Oh god, no, there's not. S swim! Up! Go! Go, 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 go. Okay, I got it. Whew. Okay, what the heck? Alright, I can make an air pocket. I can dig out a hole. I saw some iron. I just spotted this and was like, what? I can dig up. Come on. Come on. Oh, this might be a little slow. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Please break. Please break. Oh, Jesus. This would be the most dumb way to die. Oh, jeez. Oh. That was too close, man. <laughs> I forgot how much slower you work underwater. Nom nom nom. Now my health should refill, right? Yeah, my... Okay, good. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, what? Ooh, there's a cave nearby. Or at least some perfect darkness. Break this iron. You know, I should do. I should just go this way and make a place for me to stand. Mm. 
Why am I doing this? Why am I underwater? Oh, there's some gravel there. Ha! Okay, now I can stand and get rid of these at a much better pace. And I can go pick them up. They probably fell way down there, didn't they? Look at this. Huh. What a weird little alcove. Oop, hello, there's an air pocket there. Ah, get up there. I'll take the torch with me. Get out of here. Just saw this and thought there might be a nice cave attached to it, but it doesn't look like it. Just some iron. So, whatevs. Now, is this the right here, the mountain that I wanted to climb? Oh, no, yeah. We want to go to that mountain over there. Definitely. Ooh, wow, that's pretty. 29, 30 frames per second. That's pretty good. That's certainly acceptable for an LP. To have fraps going on a double height mod, plus recording my voice, I'm pleased with 30 frames per second. And I'll try not to talk about it too much. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a very exciting uh, statistic for me to name. Oh, there's a lag spike for you. you probably see it. Yep, there it is. Boom. Okay, now I gotta remember the old rules of Minecraft, like never dig straight down. Of course, everywhere there... I look, there's coal! So where am I supposed to stand to dig out this coal? Thank you. Ugh. Usually when I record, I think Fraps is actually forcing it to run at about 30 frames per second. It's, it's wanting to do that, so that's probably not even the limitation of the map. You could probably run about... It actually was running at like 100 and something before I started recording, so I'm pretty sure Fraps is sort of bottlenecking it. But that's what recording software tends to do, so it can record at a certain frame rate. It's fine with me. This is a lot of coal. Nice. Good big vein. I hear some water running somewhere. I'm not going to make shovels anymore. It just falls to it. I'll just use whatever weapon I have equipped, because dirt's so easy to get rid of. More coal. I'm going to leave that. I don't care. Where's that running water right here? Hello? Dock cave? Nobody down here. Oop, another lag spike. Oh, Jesus, that was a big one. Ugh. I couldn't see what was happening for a second there. Hopefully that won't get me killed. Oh, God, what a horrible way to die that would be. Anything interesting down here? Looks like a dead end down at that end. Let's, um... Stop that. Thank you. Take my torch with me. Grab this iron before I go. I want to make some iron tools eventually so I can get that diamond. Get some more diamonds. Ah, oh, of course there's always there's always more. Just when I think I'm done, I'm gonna get to leave the dark cave. More iron. Well, I'm not complaining. You gotta get some iron, you know. I'm keeping the torches with me because I don't plan to come back here. So no point in leaving them. Big floating island up there. This might be a nice place. This actually, this right here might be a nice place to live. Uh, so if I ever do, well, I keep talking about if I ever do die. That's so dumb. It's, it's a hardcore LP. I don't even need to worry about not being close to my spawn. I don't need to worry about farming animals unless it's, unless that's easier than just randomly wandering. Oh, hello, creeper. Creep creeping. Let's try and ascend this mountain, and then we'll call it a video if I can get to the top. So, 256 height map, the way it works is ocean level is at 128. So if you look now, we're at 159, so we're well above ocean height. Sea level, you would call it. Oh, jeez, this could be bad. Whew. Oh, man. Am I going to want to mine into the side of the mountain to get up there, or am I going to want to climb on the outside? That's the dilemma I'm facing. This pick is not going to make it if I try to mine up a staircase. I don't think there's... It's got quite enough durability for that. You can always just make another one, though, so... That was a huge lag spike. I'm still... Wow. Holy crap. That one froze my game for a while. What the heck is it doing? I wasn't loading new chunks, either. It was weird. I might tar tower it, honestly. If this gets a little bit weird. Yeah, let's turn to the side here so I can go back out to the outside. I'd not like to forever be stuck inside the mountain. I'd like to be able to see what I'm doing my height in relation to the world. Hello. Can I go up from here? Uh, probably not the best direction to take. Maybe I can just mine one into the side of the mountain? If I looks like I might run into some coal up here. It's getting dark, isn't it? It is. Oh, crap. This is not what I wanted. I didn't want to end up stuck on the side of a mountain at night. Okay, I can make it. I could make a spawn point. I really, I guess I'm just not, I'm not used to the hardcore mentality yet. I'm gonna have to adjust to that. We're gonna go straight up from here because balls to it. Take this coal, thank you very much. 
Where is my... Oh, I gotta remember that. You can't crouch while you're in your inventory. Interesting. I didn't know that. Alright. Whoop! Hoppa! Yeah, here we go. It's gonna get dark. So I'm just gonna mine straight up. I know this is a faux pas in Minecraft. It's one of the beginner mistakes that gets you with lava on your face. But at this height, there's not gonna be lava, so I think it's safe. The worst I could get would be a creeper falling in the hole. Which would probably kill me on a hard difficulty. But So that would be pretty bad anyway. I could also have the pickaxe run out, and then I'd have to punch my way through one of the blocks in order to be able to put a workbench down. <laughs> that would suck. Although, I guess if the pickaxe broke, it would mean I'd just mine the block, so it probably wouldn't be a problem. It is dark in this narrow tunnel I'm digging. And the moonlight is darker than pitch black, so I guess we'll know as soon as I break through, because it'll get brighter. I'll be able to see the sky. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, the max height is 256. And, ooh, it's dirt. Okay, perfect. Oh, we're out. Okay, I'm not gonna expose myself like that just yet. I'm gonna sort of come out to the side here. I'm gonna look for... Now listen, listen to the dirt. Okay, so that's dirt. You can tell by what it sounds like whether or not it's surface. Okay, that's not surface either. Okay, but this is, so... That is. You see, you see how it sounds? It sounds different. It's got like a deeper tone to it. That lets you know that it's surface dirt. Oops. My inventory. This is surface dirt too, but I can just see that. Alright. Let's be cautious. Hmm. Oh god, I thought I saw some... I thought I saw some oh. I thought I saw some green moving up there and was like, oh shit, creeper creeper creeper. Creeper creepin'. Alright, let's get move on, run out here. Ah, look at it. Oh, wow. Whew. That's pretty. We're so high up. We're up at 209. Wow, the cap is like 40 blocks higher still. Holy moly. Actually, it's more like 50 blocks. Oh yeah, look at that mountain. It's even higher. Phew, awesome. Maybe I want to live there. On the side of that mountain right there? Ooh, that would be neat, wouldn't it? I see some creepers creeping over there. Ooh, and some spiders and some zombies, too. Alright, well, I think I'm going to hide in this hole tonight. I probably will dig this out a little bit so I can live here for, like, a day. Uh, but we're going to call it a video when we will bust out of this hidey hole and go climb that tallest mountain over there and hopefully get as close to the height limit as we can, giving us a spectacular panoramic view. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Minecraft.